Hello, I'm Harish and in this channel we talk about building anything without coding. But this video is a quick example of how you can fetch the movie database API data directly into Google Sheet. I made this video that you're seeing in the background about two years back and I got a comment on this video two weeks back where someone was asking how to fetch TMDB API data into Google Sheets and this is a demo of how to do it. I also have written a blog article about this where you can follow step by step including the code. I will link it in the description below so that you can follow it if you prefer that way to do things. But remember, this involves some copy pasting effort and some code effort. This is not a no code tutorial. With that, let's get started and see how to pull data from one of the movie database API into Google Sheets. Right, so here is a tutorial where you can see it automatically fetches data from the TMDB API. And the, all the steps are listed down in the tutorial as well. You can simply follow this. The link to this is in the description below. I'm going to simply follow the same tutorial, but show you how to do it. So the first step is create an empty Google Sheet where you want to get the data, right? What I've done is I've named the sheet and I've also changed the sheet name below to top 20 rated. We are going to fetch the top 20 rated movies from TMDB API. TMDB is the movie database API, which gives you information about movies, right? You can fetch movie information from this API. You can get a free API key to test it out. Mm -hmm. For that, you have to go to the moviedb.op. The link to this also is in the description below. Once you create an account, you have a section called API. Click on it, copy the API key and keep it separate, right? And after this, go back to the sheet. Once you're done changing the name of the sheet and also adding this, our next step is to change, add the data that we want to get from the API. Now, what is the API and how do you get information about the API? Is after you go to TMDB website, just go to API section and under the API section, you should see something called as API reference, which will show you what are all the API calls available for you to call and fetch data. Under this, what we are going to use is the top rated API which is if you scroll down all the way or you can just do a quick search as well let me just do that to operate it yeah this is the api that we're going to use what this does is sends a request and gets back data i can click on try it and it'll show you the response this is the response and from this response what we are going to take is basically the overview which is a short description and then the vote average score which is the overall average score of for this movie then we are also going to take the poster path and also the title. Title is the name of the movie, right? Now you go back to the Google Sheet and the first thing I want to add is title. Then I want to add overview. Then I want to add poster path. And then the last one is vote in average. That's all. Now the second step in the Google Sheet is to use something on App Script. App Script is where you can write code to manipulate data in the Google Sheet, right? Now, this code is available, like I said, in the description below. I'm just going to copy paste the code that I wrote in the blog article and show you that it works. Click on extensions and click on app script. Once you click on app script, it should load a new page for you where you can start writing code. This is what you should ideally see. You can rename the project to TM, sorry, TMD, the and then up to you, you can name it whatever and remove all the code from here and go back, go to the article that I wrote and copy the code from there. The link to the article again is in the description below. So I'm just going to quickly copy the code and paste it here, right? Now, if you see the API key is getting fetched from here, right? To be able to uh, safely add the API key so that your code does not leak and that give out the API key to any uh, outsiders who should not get access to it. What you will do is copy the API key and just I'm going to quickly copy the API key and I'll tell you how to add it in the Google Sheet, sorry, Google Apps Script for you to safely add it, securely add it. Once you have the API key copied, go to settings, right? Once you click on settings, scroll all the way down. You should see something called as script properties. Add a script property, use the same name, which is which you saw in the board and save script properties. Once you click save script properties, go back to the port editor. And now if you notice the the data here or the code here, essentially it says get the sheet name called 20 it operated. If you go back, it is what the name is. And call the API, use my API key and get the data and put it in these respective parts. Simple, as simple as that, right? The API call is top rated API call like I showed. 
right now all you have to do is run click run it should ask you for permissions to be able to run this in the specific google sheet that you're linking this to so click on review permissions and give the necessary permissions make sure the email address is same as the one where the sheet is hosted once you give the permissions and click allow this should run the code ideally execution started execution completed like you can see here right here at the bottom and now if i go to my sheet it says a pay key not found no problem what we're going to do is go back copy this name i hope i use the same name in the project properties go to settings yeah i made a mistake it says tmbd it should be T tmdv edit based save again what what a rookie mistake now if i go back i have to change this back to tidy because it printed the error there now i'm going to go to editor and run this code again simple run now if i go back we will see the data that's all now you can build apps on top of this using glide adalo or uh spread simple or editable any tool that uses google sheets as the input bot data and that's how you actually fetch tmdb api data into google sheets using an api key so if any api that you want to fetch data from has an api key this is how you do it make sure you add the api keys in the properties services like i showed under settings instead of hard coding it in the code itself right if you want to understand this code it's pretty simple i've also explained this code in my blog article click on the link in the description below to get the access to the code and uh, yeah happy building and if you like the video drop a like to this video down below and also consider subscribing if you haven't already because this channel is all about building without coding not just this one but most of the videos are without coding trust me this also is just copy paste so see you on the next one peace